The most disgusting PNG tuber is back. Beating Meow's Discord question. This Meowba? Two years, audience. Do you even know what two years even means right A now? A lot of time. It has been two years since I have talked about this person. Meowba. And now this person is coming back two years later to collab with Bella the Wolf. What the freak? I heard like they were... I heard these are two of the worst people on the internet right now. And they just made a collab. What is happening, bro? Meowba walk so Bella the Wolf could run. And now they're twinsies. And besties. <laughs> Somebody fucking kill me. All right, people, what's up? Today, I sadly announced to you all that Meowba has returned. Now, for those in the audience she had a that have been born roughly two years ago and doesn't know what's going on, Meowba back in 2022 was a PNG YouTuber ripoff of the YouTuber Jellybean, where this person would go on to YouTube shorts, TikTok, etc. Starting to sound like another person that we are talking about today Bella. in 2024. They both say a bunch of edgy sh** for a bunch of free YouTube content for everybody. Why are you in uh, What? Wait, Bella said the N-word? I think I've seen a comment about that. I thought y'all was capping. She really said that? Pray for Pastelline. Wear a hijab in the next video. Oh, yes. Um, pray for the Pastelinian people. They both have cringe, Discord cringe, cringe, servers cringe. that are full of degeneracy. <laughs> What the they hell? Both claim they're God. Hi everyone. It's Bell the Wolf, aka God. Is that really how Bella looks? And they are both very iconic YouTube punching bags. And today, ladies and gentlemen, they collab. Hey man. I'm milking this until I can't milk it no more. Audience, what the f did I just watch? I don't I feel know. Like I genuinely just watched a video where someone just spent hours of their drawing talent and threw it all right down the fucking drain over some <laughs> bullshit animation like this. Like, come on, guys, look at the art style. It's honestly not that bad. You know, I'm sure if you had a good portfolio when you put that shit up on Instagram, there would be some people that would commission you. But yeah. no, this random person had to throw away all their talent to draw Meowba and Bella the fucking wolf. I thought this whole time Meowba and Bella the wolf made their own PNG. Oh yeah, I'm slow. I am not locked in right now. I am definitely not locked in. I am so far out of the loop with this type of content. It makes no sense, bro. They paid somebody to make that. First off, you're a sad sack of shit. Secondly, out of any video that you could have chose to animate right now, you animated this. Bro, the bills cannot be this. You got Yeezy slides on. Holy Foam shit. And lastly, audience, this is the last collab that nobody ever asked for, but we still got it anyway, and it was worse than we I like his new if faces. I had to rate this collab video, put that sh in the fucking bin. Garbage. <laughs> Anyways, now that we got the worst collab video out of all of human history out of the way, I think it's appropriate we catch up on the Bella the Wolf and Meowba lore. In general, I'm just curious what they're up to. Let's Aside see. from the Discord calls I've had with Bella, where she's actually a pretty kind person to me, let's check out what both of them are up to online on YouTube. Is that a cancer patient? She's killing cancer patients. What's up with her, bro? Cancer isn't real. Grow the fuck up. Bella, why? Just why? What do you mean cancer isn't real? When you do stuff like this, karma works in mysterious ways and it might bite you in the ass one day. Cancer might destroy your sales one day. I just want you to know, your sales might be decaying one day because you want to make internet videos of you killing cancer patients. Cancer isn't real, lol. Grow the fuck up. Damn, audience, Bella really just exposed the medical world in one fucking sentence. Cancer's not real, ladies and gentlemen. That loved one, that loved one, that that, that grandma you fucking exactly. love so much. Yeah, that wasn't real. Wake the fuck up. Actually, wait, what did she say? No, grow the fuck up. Wake and grow the fuck up. You guys believe Sick. that cancer is real. <laughs> An idiot. That was a joke, YouTube, you sensitive little vaginas at YouTube headquarters. You could put your inhaler back in your man purse, you little fucking pixie. It was a joke, you piece of shit. I like this guy. Discord questions, part 16. Okay, so, is that a, uh, wait, is wait, wait, wait. Is this a black trans PNG tuber? Is that what I'm seeing here? Maybe his avatar, may, maybe their avatar 
is just whatever gender they want to be. I don't know what to say anymore because once you start speaking them T words and all these other words, people cancel you. I don't have no knowledge of who this person is. I just had a question. Okay, so uh, this is not the Meowba that I remember. What happened to the Meowba that was like Hawaii and uwu and all this other shit? I do not remember Meowba looking like a fucking chocolate mousse. Does Meow celebrate Juneteenth? Of course Meow does. As a proud black trans male, Juneteenth there is an is. important day of our culture. What the fuck is Juneteenth? Sorry guys, I'm white. I understand you're white, but Juneteenth is a very important day for black history. You know what I'm saying? Be careful what you about to say right now. I might have to dislike your video. Sorry, guys. I'm whiter than a piece of fucking paper. I, I I don't know this shit. A holiday celebrated on June 19th to commemorate the emancipation of enslaved people in the U.S. Yes. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. W black people. Did he say W black people? Did he really just say that? Yeah. W black people. Yeah, but today is. He does not give a fuck about June. He does not give a fuck. <laughs> I, I want y'all to know he does not give a fuck about no June tea, bro. <laughs> Versary. Etika? E POV, you're a rage bait gotcha PNG tuber and you can't bring up dead people. Listen, Meowba, Bella, I get that you're trying to be funny, right? Racism, homophobia, whatever the fuck you want to do, just make sure it's funny. But can we not bring up dead people? Like, like, please. At least bring it up dead people that uh, have died recently and it's a little too soon to bring up. Like, if you want to roast Abraham Lincoln for his John getting blown off in 1860, I don't know what the fuck it was. Who gives a <laughs> shit? Who cares? But for people like Etika and Technoblade, can you at least wait 20 fucking years? Meow, but who the frick is Etika? Nani, Nani is this? How dare you disrespect Meow's dead husband, Etika Senpai? Streamer by day, lover by night. This shit can What is happening? What's in my ear? If you guys were to ask me, how do I think this video came to be? Think about this. You have a bunch of chronically online teenagers that are in a Discord call 24-7, aka Meowba's server. <laughs> just picks one of those schmucks to go ahead and record a video for her. And since they have absolutely no reputation, no motion, no fucking money, they have absolutely no care in the world what they get to say for Meowba. Because if you work for Meowba, you get your big fucking internet break with 20,000 shorts views on Meowba's YouTube channel. Sir, that says 90k. That says 90k. You know what I'm saying? That's that's 90,000 people. But this person is more of a no face, no case type of scenario. He's not really gaining nothing from this collab at all. He just has his voice on a video that has 90,000 views. What do you gain from that? This audience is how this video came to be and it's fucking sad. R.I.P. Etika. Shut the f*** up. Loving husband, a loving father. <laughs> Bro, Etika did not die for this. Bro, if you guys are treating Etika like this after he passed away, my lord, I can't imagine whenever I die. I swear, when I die, I'm gonna get like 50 fucking Ouija board compilations on me overnight. Hell of a wolf what? and Meowba are gonna create <laughs> body pillows of me and upload it to their YouTube channels or something. I'm fucking scared what you guys are gonna do to me. My only request when I die is for you to make a bunch of AI videos of me making fun of people that's okay. all i ask i can for. do that for you can i, I can do that just one lick of your thighs please what the fuck yeah! senpai no <laughs> <laughs> oh God. i want to talk to the parents i like this, this child and i, I like just it wanna ask him the singular question why the fuck have you not beat his ass by now if i seen my son talking like this <laughs> in his bedroom his ass would be crip walking like fucking christopher reeve talking wow. like that on discord to a bunch of two-year-olds i'm gonna beat your fucking ass Eating my discord questions part four is there a bella hell and if so what is it like Yes, there is a hell for sinners who don't repent to Bellism. The Bellism hell is filled with regret and despair for those who dare to mock or slander me. You heard that, fellas? So that means the person I'm watching right now is going to hell. You're going to Bella hell, bro. How do you feel about that, knowing that you're damned? forever for talking about Bella the Wolf like that. You heard that, fellas? Basically, we're all fucked. I don't know if you saw my previous video where basically Bella explains to all of us how to convert to Bellism. Basically, you have to abuse your animal by carving the letter B into its paw, and then you gotta light some coconut candles with a picture of Bella in the center. And then what? you dance around the fucking fire with some bongos and shit, and then you might get to Bellism heaven or whatever the fuck it's Yo, called. Yo, what does she got going on? 99.9% of us are too fucking lazy for any of that shit. Facts. Uh, we're doomed. We're Facts. And it's not like a ritual. Why am I dancing around your picture with fire? 
Like, I'm about to summon her, like, saying Candyman three times? What? Uh, we're doomed. We're, we're, we're done for. We are burning in Bellism hell, baby. Which, honestly, might seem better than Bellism heaven, not gonna lie. How do I feel about <laughs> Pack God's new diss track? The Pack God diss track honestly sucked. The entire lyrics is filled with insults that even a kindergarten would use. Yeah, well, your diss track to Pack God and Steak wasn't any better. Speaking of which, I gotta show you that diss track. Yo, DJ, spin that shit! The I'm not gonna say anything about this diss track, <laughs> but look at the like to dislike ratio. Damn! I, 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 oh my gosh, Bella, don't rap no more. Don't rap, don't rap no more. You got a lot of likes, but damn, how'd you get so many likes, Bella? You have a little bit of a fan base. You know what I'm saying? If you did things the right way, you'd probably be far in life, Bella. This is a chance for you to change your life around. Come on, li <laughs> tighten up. The like to dislike ratio. I, I I think that explains enough. Just kidding. This diss track is so fucking duty booty. Even Spicy's diss track on me, Vesh, Rummy, and Pat God was better. This uh, diss spice, track just makes me want to kill myself. The only thing that she did in this diss track was ruin a Kendrick Lamar beat. That was it. What is happening? I cannot believe Miaba has this high of a production now in her videos. How the f did you go from this? Hi there, Mila Chan. <laughs> Welcome to Meow's PNG Tuber Introduction. To this sh. You got a music video? Honestly, it's beyond me. There is so much great talent in this world, ladies and gentlemen, but they all waste it on bullshit like this. <laughs> it makes me sad. Like, bro, if you want to make some money, come to me. I will pay you. You don't have to be a fucking loser Discord e-kitten all day. You can come to me too. I don't know, bro. Can I it's come to you? As fuck. Anyways, I want to make audience, some money. Leave a like in the video if you think I should make a follow-up video to Meowba and Bella. Help me get to 5 million subs. I'll see y'all later. 5 million? Golly, you. You you live you live for life, bro. If you want to hire somebody, I'm here. Hit me up anytime, bro. You know my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for it.